So hello everybody, it's Jeffy 87 here and today we are going to do a battle of the setting powders. So I have the Catrice Light Illusion setting powder versus the Hourglass Veil Translucent setting powder. Now I know the colors aren't exactly the same, but these products do the exact same thing I'm about to show y'all. If you watched my IGTV video a couple of weeks ago, I actually compared both of them there, but I know everybody didn't follow me on IG, so I try to keep that in mind. I was like, since this is a video... Y'all seem to like when I do videos like this. I was like, we'll do some more. Why not? Um, I mainly try to, try to put it on IG this time, though, because one of my followers who always asks me about stuff like this, um, she is overseas right now, so I want to make sure like, I put some stuff up that she can actually see. But anyway, I'm going to put the Catrice one underneath the eyes and all the places I highlight on my face just so you can see what it looks like because I've already did a video on the Hourglass one, so you already have an idea of what that looks like. So I'm setting all this up in here and this catrice one if i remember correctly it doesn't retail for more than eight dollars on elf's web i'm sorry on alta's website and it's a great product so i would definitely recommend you get out there and try it girl but you see now like you see how just wonderful luminous and how it's lighting up my face right now like yes girl you need to try this so i'm doing all this with um a brush and I was thinking about doing a brush for both sides because it's like I can always turn the brush over to the other side and then that way it's not, the results aren't contaminated. Like, you know, people like to be like, oh, it's contaminated. It's not. I don't know. If I turn this brush over, none of this product has been on this side. It's only been on the other side. So I think I might do that because I feel like if I do one of the sponge and one of the brush, people will be like, oh, well, we don't know what it looks like with the brush. So I'm going to just do everything with the brush and then everybody has the same thing about it. Um, but yeah, so this is what it looks like with just the... Um, Catrice went on, as you can see, the um, middle of the face and the under eyes look quite nice and bright and give a nice smooth finish to the skin. Um, so now, we're going to take this side, the clean side, as you can see, I used this side already. So one that says Beach Cosmetics on the front is the side we're going to use for the Hourglass Powder. Um, not as nearly as much Hourglass Powder comes out because they have like a nice little sifter in there. Which I think is nice because, you know, some people get carried away with powder and get crazy. But I'm going to tap that in there because that was expensive. The other one was like 8 bucks, so I could tap it on the side. Like, no, we got to tap this like back in there. I need all of this product. Because if I remember correctly, this is like 42 or $48. Some kind of crazy amount like that. And I'm like, uh, excuse, excuse me? Who, who's paying this? Apparently, my dumbass. But it's a beautiful powder. It's really nice. And I actually use the Catrice one more than I use this one. Which is crazy because it's like I spend all this money for it and it just sits in a drawer. But, you know, it's so huge and bulky. And the Catrice one is just cute and easy to grab. So, a lot of times I end up reaching for it just because of that. It has nothing to do with, like, you know, it being superior quality. It's just as good quality as this one. And it's only, like, 8 bucks. So, you should definitely check it out. I don't know what happened to the um, post I put on it on... Um, IG, because I had posted about it a long time ago, I was like, this is a great dupe for, you know, the, um, hourglass one. And I looked up and the post was gone. I don't know if the camera woman, like, took it down, because I used to have a camera woman, you guys know. And, like, she still has access to my IG, so I don't know if she erased it, because some stuff was erased. And I was like, I didn't erase this. Who the hell did this? I don't know. Oh, also, another disclaimer, I, um... So I posted that long before Andrea Montelio said that these were dupes for each other. Because I know I don't want to. I know I follow her and I've watched the video where she said this. But it's like I had posted it like two or three months before that. Because I saw this when it first launched on Alton. And I was like, hmm, it sounds like it'll be a good dupe for this one. And sure enough, I was right. Because even she confirmed that she was talking about how it was a great dupe for the Hourglass one. I just wanted to put that disclaimer in here. Because I didn't want anybody saying I tried to steal her idea or anything like that. Because it's like I had said that a while ago. I just didn't make a video on it. But yeah, so these are what the products look like on my face. And as you can see, they give like the same kind of effect. I feel like this one gives a little more brightening just because, you know, it's yellow obviously. But this, they both look the same to me. Like on the face, they look amazing. So let's set the face. I'm going to use this one. If you haven't seen the video on this, I think this is a really good dupe for that Glam Glow setting spray. And I think there's like 32 bucks or something like that. So definitely get your hands on this. So we're going to set the face and then... I've already done a wear test on this, and they wear exactly the same, too. No, no one did better than the other one. They both did the same. They both lasted all day, so you don't have to worry about, like, me writing that down in the description box below for you to read later. Like, they do the same thing. And when I first get done setting my, um, when I put on my setting powder, I like to sponge it in. I learned this trick from Rachel Love. 
here on YouTube. She does this, and she said it helps the powder blend into the skin better, so it makes the skin look more natural as opposed to just looking like there's a whole bunch of powder sitting on your face, which I can definitely appreciate. So, I was like, let me go ahead and do that really quick. I'll probably put some more off camera before I start putting on my bronze and all the other stuff. The next video you all will see what should be an eyeshadow palette showdown because I'm doing a whole bunch of battle of the today or whatever. If y'all want to see a battle of this foundation versus this foundation, let me know because I'm wearing this one right now. I literally just shot the video for this and put the new concealer on that came with it. So if you all want me to um, test the old one and get the new one, let me know when I can do that. Um, I have to do that another day obviously though because I'm trying to test this one out today and give a weird test. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I would definitely recommend you try this one over this one because this is like forty some dollars and this one is only eight. And even though it only gives you how many ounces in here? This one only gives you eleven grams and this one gives you ten point five grams. So you're already getting more grams in this one than you are in this one. It is way cheaper. Like this is eight bucks and this is like I said I think forty two or forty eight. So it's like get your hands on this sis. it will change your life and then you won't have to spend the forty whatever on this. So anyway I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, you all are diamonds, and I'll see you in the next one, which is the Natasha Denona Coral Palette. Okay, bye.